years ago, Tandar Lin learned she was pregnant. A visit to the clinic shattered her happiness. At first, she sought comfort in prayer. Then Tandar learned she could take treatment which would protect her baby from HIV. Even after giving birth, she remained anxious, waiting for the results of an HIV test. Tandar was lucky since a decade ago, antiretroviral medicine was available in a limited number of hospitals. Patients have to go to the large city where there is a specialist uh, physician and pediatrician to assess the treatment. In 2013, the government started to decentralize HIV services. They're now available in most rural townships. Halang Tayar Hospital started prescribing ARVs in 2014. <laughs> HIV treatment coverage for everyone living with HIV doubled between 2012 and 2015. I think Myanmar's scale-up in the last four years is, is phenomenal. Much of the expansion has been financed by external donors. However, the government is increasing its share. In 2016, they budgeted $16 million for their HIV program. ART is a lifelong treatment, so uh, the scale-up and sustainability of the current uh, the patients who are on treatment is a really a challenge for us. Another challenge is stigma and discrimination towards people living with HIV. Hospitals are partnering with community groups to improve services. Tundar Lin has experienced discrimination, but she's not letting that get her down. Her young son brightens her day. Now she runs a community group for women living with HIV. Thanks to treatment, like many other people living with HIV, Tandar Lin has crafted a busy and productive life.